Concussion is a term used to describe a traumatic brain injury that affects brain function. This can be as mild as a small knock to the head that induces a short period of altered consciousness. But is there more to it than that? And why does it happen? Firstly, concussion as a term can cause a bit of confusion. It arises from the Latin word concussus, which means to shake violently, but it's never been well defined and tends to label a wide variety of mild to moderate traumatic brain injuries. Having this common blanket term is unhelpful, as people who experience a head shake often need individualised care based around the exact extent of their injury. Now, it is hard to pinpoint, though, exactly what causes a concussion. Damage to the nerve tissue can occur in severe brain injuries, but doesn't usually happen in milder, normaler, common concussions. Most likely, the jiggling of the central nervous system might induce an imbalance that affects the brain's ability to metabolise glucose, ATP, or some other energy source. When this happens, altered consciousness is relatively rare. Most commonly, the symptoms are small and subtle. Headaches, feeling sick, dizziness, seeing stars, and having trouble balancing, which can last one to two weeks in some cases. After one concussion, though, there is a greater risk and susceptibility to having another, meaning that the next, con next concussion can occur after less force, and these additional concussions can often take longer to resolve than the first one. Now, we don't yet have a specific blood test for a concussion, and in most cases, a CT or MRI scan appears normal. So it's very tricky to diagnose and not always practical to assess. Recurring concussions can lead to long-term effects, and there have been increased risk associations with epilepsy, neurodegeneration, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and more. But research still most certainly needs to be done. Now, lastly, we are getting closer to blood tests. Currently, there are some potential blood tests out there, but nothing available just yet, so we do have a hope for the future. Very mild traumatic injuries are something that unfortunately are very common, but nonetheless should be taken seriously and most certainly something worth keeping an eye on.